Mrs. Ranger Sibande is going to help me with uh, this uh, leopard capture. And yeah, you know, we've just prepared all the drugs, the darts, dart is here. And um, yeah, now we have to make an approach on the cage. And what we'll do is we'll use this, this screen that Ranger Sibande is holding because we don't want to uh, approach a leopard that's in a cage, can't escape. Um, you know, that the, the whole concept of two humans approaching a leopard that can't escape out of a cage would be terrifying. The stress and uh, just the danger involved in approaching a leopard like that from uh, not our point of view, but from the leopard's point of view, it would want to escape and it would probably injure itself in the cage. So what we do is we, we hold each corner of the sheet uh, the screen and we'll, we'll um, approach the cage so that the leopard never sees a human. Okay, so you see we'll have the, this thing like this and we will approach like this. Okay, so you're ready? Yes. Alright. Uh, yeah, let us go. So that's the first step, is to put up the screen. That was very lucky. Yeah, we wish she, she can't really see us now as we approach, which will make it a lot safer for her and for us. But now I have to try and get a dart into her bottom. Is in now. The immobilizing drug should take only six minutes to have an effect, but we waited ten minutes before cautiously approaching, and there she was, fast asleep in the cage. Before opening that cage, we have to be absolutely certain that she's completely asleep. But once that's been established and we're sure that the situation is safe, we can begin to monitor her temperature and douse her with water to cool her down if necessary. And only then can we start to focus on our original objective, which brought us here in the first place. Everything we had done so far to find, capture and immobilize this leopard had led us to this moment where we were able to fit her with a brand new satellite tracking collar. Once the collar had been fitted and the dart removed, we were able to carry the leopard to a new position 
where she would sleep for another hour or so until the drugs wore off. In the absence of any natural shade, we created a shelter to protect her from the sun while she slept off the effects of the drug. Okay, it's not easy to see, but she is awake. She's just over there. Yeah, there. Yeah, you can see her head moving. Obviously, I don't want to get too close to this. This is a leopard. <laughs> And you're not wanting to be too close when the leopard recovers and wakes up fully. Especially if you're the one that's given her the injection. Oh, well, that's nice. That's wonderful. She's awake and she's moving around. That's really nice to see. Very nice to see. Yeah, she's on her feet. And off she goes, off she goes.